Hi everyone, I'm Ron from Microsoft Cloud App Security. And in this session, we'll talk about cloud and SaaS security posture management, or in short, CSPM and SSPM. I will start by uh, quickly reminding us that companies are moving to the cloud and they're moving fast. And based on this trend, I will present the security challenges that, that exist due to the fact that companies are using IaaS, PaaS, and SaaS services. And I will show how you should address those challenges by explaining what is cloud and SaaS security posture management, again, in short, CSPM and SSPM. And then I will finish with this short slide and a demo of what we actually do at Microsoft Cloud App Security in regards of CSPM and SSPM. So in the last few years, we see a major increase in enterprise adoption of cloud environments and cloud apps. Um, a single organization will use multiple public clouds, Azure, AWS, GCP, and even more. A single organization will use thousands, sometimes even more, uh, of 10,000s of cloud services. And on top of that, we see huge increase in SaaS application usage. We see hundreds of approved SaaS applications being used in a single organization. Sometimes even more applications are being used without them being approved. And an interesting fact I wanted to show is that Gartner says that by 2022, the enterprise SaaS application spending will be more than IaaS and PaaS combined. So you can imagine how quickly this is growing. And it's great to see this cloud adoption. We are all familiar with the benefits such as cost and time to deliver. However, it does not come without challenges and specifically security challenges. So first of all, these are very, very complex environments. It's hard to track what's going on and well. Customers are using multiple clouds, hundreds of applications, thousands of services. They don't have a single pane of glass to manage all of them. They don't have a po common policy to manage all of them. So it's very, very hard to track everything. Another thing is that these environments are highly influenced by non-security personas. So IS and PaaS are heavily influenced by developers and DevOps. SaaS is being used by admin users and even sometimes just regular users that are uploading or downloading data. And these personas do not have uh, do not have security on top of their mind. To all of this, you have to add the fact that the data that you're using in those environments and applications is at high risk because you're using business critical data that is being processed outside the corporate network. And on top of all of that, there is growing regulatory compliance requirements that the organizations must meet. So what can you do about all of this? So you should implement cloud and SaaS security posture management tools and methodologies, but what is it? CSPM and SSPM are basically tools that help you understand your security posture, the security posture of your cloud and SaaS applications. They help you to align with best practices and to eventually enforce security policies in those environments and in those applications. So a lot of times people may view those as different tools as they address different environments. Again, some of them are cl to cloud environments, some of them are to cloud applications, but I believe that they share the same basics and the same use cases, and they're both always will have to rely on visibility first. So we all know that you cannot secure what you cannot see. So you need to have visibility in place. You have to know what SaaS applications are being used in your organization. You have to know what IaaS and PaaS services are being used. You want to know by who's using them. You want to know how much are they being used. So once you have this visibility, then you can move on and catch misconfigurations. You can, uh, you can understand if you're compliant with security best practices and recommendations. You can understand if you are compliant with the regulatory compliance requirements. And maybe you want to also check for custom configuration needs 
that you have inside of your organization. So this by itself, the visibility and the misconfiguration, this by itself is great value, right? Uh, um, but you cannot stop there. You always have to continuously track the, the activity and the usage of those environments, of those applications. You want to continuously track the data and the users and their activity, the privileges. You have to do so, so when there is an issue, you are being alerted and then you can actually governance and force and remediate those issues that that you're that you're tracking so you want to to manually or automatically block and remediate those issues so of course all of this that you see right here this is tightly connected to what we're doing at microsoft cloud out security which is again first thing is visibility so this is basically the Microsoft Cloud App Security Discovery and Shadow IT capabilities, which have they have a dedicated session for, for this. But for CSPM and SSPM, we heavily rely on the, the visibility capabilities that we have in, in Microsoft Cloud App Security. So based on this, then we can go over to misconfiguration. And these are just examples. We have the ability to uh, to apply security configurations and best practices for your cloud environments. Uh, another example is to find services with public access. Again, S3 buckets. Uh, we have the ability to present OAuth applications, uh, connected OAuth applications. Another example is elevated accounts in Salesforce application, or maybe if you disabled or configured uh, MFA or configured repositories with public access in your GitHub uh, application. Again, these are just examples. When we go to the demo, we'll focus on security configurations for your cloud environments. Then once you have these as best practices and, con and, and configuration advice, then you can also create custom policies. With our uh, activity policy, you can continuously track uh, how these applications and cloud environment are being used in order to eventually, again, governance and enforce and remediate the things that you find. You can either alert, take actions like suspend users or make services private or to go in and actually do manual remediation actions in your cloud environments in order to 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 reduce the risks so this is what we have at microsoft cloud app security as a whole let's go into the specific demo what i will present here is just one small part of cspm and this is our security configuration screen this is where we allow you to continuously assess your Azure, AWS, and GCP environments against security best practices and regulatory compliance. So what you get is a single pane of glass with all of the three cloud environments and all of the relevant recommendations and your security posture. So you can see it right here. The integration for Azure specifically is of course done seamlessly based on the Microsoft Cloud App Security Tenant will retrieve all of the relevant subscriptions and evaluate them from here. And for AWS and GCP, all you need to do is connect us to the relevant accounts or projects or master account, and then we evaluate them against the recommendations based on the access that you provided. So what you see here again, you can see your security posture per each recommendation you see the relevant resources that failed this recommendation. You can see the associated accounts of these resources. And of course, you can see the severity that is associated with this recommendation. You can see these for all of those three clouds. And right here under regulatory compliance, you can understand if you're compliant against the CIS benchmark, how much coverage do you have and what are the subscriptions that are evaluated. So again, this is just one out of the things that you need to do as part of your security posture requirements, but I hope this helps understand. Thank you very much for joining this session.